Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope everyone's doing well and you're taking care of yourself. Of course, guys, I do want to say I'm not a financial advisor, simply sharing my thoughts and opinions, so please only take it as that. Now, of course, if we check out the prices here, everything, well, most everything is in the green. We look like we are kind of headed in uh, uh, the positive direction, which is a good thing. But we'll see how this week turns out. It'd be nice to have a bit of a change considering the last few weeks have been very brutal. Just brutal. Okay, so enough about that. Let's go ahead and get into it. Binance, uh, Binance US to be launched soon will require KYC process in order to start trading. So I'm still kind of wondering if I'm going to go ahead and sign up again. I, I guess I probably will we'll see uh, it, because it looks like they get, they have several things that they're going to be offering uh, when, th when they come back uh, to us so I may go ahead and get on and uh, just kind of see about taking advantage of it guys you know in my opinion I think one thing that we cannot lose sight of is that this market this space is meant to bring you wealth I mean if you do things right um, you can definitely benefit from, you know, what you're, what you're taking advantage of in here. So um, definitely do not lose sight of that. And I think, like I said, I think Binance might be, uh, uh, might be helping, helping us in that way. So we'll see. All right, so let's keep on going here. Ripple conquering Japan and India while the U.S. lacks clarity. Yeah, definitely not a new story. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we have SBI, we have, of course, we, I mean, we all know what's going on in both of these locations. And I got to be honest with you, it, it seems to me that the whole situation with uh, regulation clarity here in the U.S., it, it just feels like a game uh, or, or like they're holding back for some specific reason. Um, you know, all in all, I'll, I'll be glad when they quit playing around and just go ahead and get this started, especially considering the, the state everything is in. We got Russia going to the yawn. Um, I mean, so many different countries that are just really dropping the dollar as we speak. I mean, the U.S. better do something. I mean, we're going to be in some, some very uh, big trouble if they don't go ahead and um, get on the ball with stuff, man. This is just, it just really is ridiculous. But I do want to read this. As many are aware, regulatory clarity in regards to cryptocurrencies is currently completely absent as far as the U.S. is concerned. This harms the crypto industry and it makes the sector confusing and inconsistent. This lack of regulation damages innovation as the funders of these technologies tend to hold back undesirably in some situations. Innovators hold back or even leave the country to invest in crypto friendlier environments. I mean, that speaks for itself. This has been happening um, and it's going to continue to happen as long as the U.S. just sits back on its heels and, and doesn't do anything. And it's, you know, it, it is just really, like they say, it's just really harming the whole space. Uh, and it's definitely harming us in the U.S. It's just it's just really kind of ridiculous. Uh, so, I mean, guys, I'm hoping that within the next couple months at least man we get some type of clarity or something i mean it's almost like they're hinting at it but you know just not coming straight out and uh, doing something about it I, and personally i think they've already figured it out they're just just not saying anything yet i, I don't know i don't know we'll, we'll see hopefully it, this changes soon all right ecb president christine lagarde cautiously welcomes cryptocurrencies so, Miss Christine Lagarde. Um, now, let's see. Where was it? Okay, so, yeah, right here. While she was at the IMF, the organization recognized that cryptos were going to become a fixture in the global financial system. And that's, man, that's just so poignant because, yes, it's like crypto isn't going anywhere. And, you know, there there has to be some some movement on this but anyway imf acting manager director david lipton said yesterday uh this is back july 12th 
Um, we uh, published a new paper that highlights the benefits, risks, and regulatory issues that are likely to, to emerge in the years ahead with digital currencies. The benefits are clear, ease of use, lower costs, and global reach, but what about the risks? Uh, it goes on to say we have identified several, the potential emergence of new monopolies with implications for how personal data is monetized, the impact on weaker currencies and expansion of dollarization, the opportunities for illicit activity, threats to financial stability, and the challenges of corporates issuing and thus earning large sums of money, previously the realm of central banks. But you know what? Everything they just mentioned right here, it's, I mean, it can be said about the current uh, uh, system. I mean, everything here, uh, you know, except the fact that, you know, they can create their own uh, crypto or something like that, you know, or they can't obviously create their, where they can't right now create their own money. But, but still, I mean, most of this stuff can be done right here in the current in the current system so anyway I, I think you know to me a lot of this stuff is they're just excuses to not move uh, but anyway it's it's extremely frustrating i think the world's insurance giants are now going to crypto too so um and it says it's it certainly is a step towards mainstream adoption um now companies and all this they have no problem they're starting to see the fact that this is the way they need to go if they really want to remain relevant if they really want to uh, stay on top of what's happening in this innovation they know they need to go you know get into the space and you know honestly this should really kind of tell us one thing specifically regulation is coming it is definitely coming uh, it's just a matter of when but these companies would not be even taking a risk. I mean, think about it. Now they're starting to get in when crypto has been around for years already. But they're starting to get in now. I think the uh, expectation is that there will be some clarity. There will be regulations surrounding crypto very soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. All right, SBI uh, in the news again. Financial giant SBI launching global push to utilize xrp for remittance uh remittances and this is a report um one second here yeah so um let's see here oh yeah miss crypto airy let's go ahead and read her tweet here mr katal finsom yesterday uh yeah we will use the virtual currency xrp for remittance and we are focusing on making money tap into the uh, group's flagship product. We are going to have various relationships with Ripple in the U.S. And this alliance is very significant. More incoming video. And that's what she's... I'm going to tell you one thing I really love about Ari. She has... I mean, she's like right on top of everything that's coming out of Japan. And that is just awesome. I, you know, I, I wake up a lot of times 4 or 5, four or five o'clock in the morning and uh she's already you know she's had her video out for, video out for some time and um you know i'm all over that <laughs> just about every day every well, at least whenever she uh utilizes or uh, when she uh, releases i'm sorry releases a video but all in all um i think sbi man they are and i'm going to say it again they are absolutely the mvp for ripple all right and i'm going to go ahead and read this too i think it's i think it's just that important Japanese financial giant SBI Holdings reportedly plans to use the digital asset XRP to power global payments. So obviously we know uh, they are going to be straight up using XRAPID, which is, I mean, a great thing. Will we see anything in the price? Uh, hard to say. Hopefully so. But moving on. In a new speech at the FinSum 2019 uh, conference in Tokyo translated by independent Ripple and XRP researcher Crypto Airy, SBI CEO and Ripple board member uh, Yoshitaka Katao says the company will use the virtual currency XRP for remittance. So anyway, don't need to move on any further. So we know what, to, what we can expect here. Uh, sh should be happening soon, guys. We're, we're going to see. Uh, no no uh, dates here. No, no dates. But hopefully it'll be sooner than later. All right. Um, now, one last thing, and this is 
really, this is not a dig, really, it's not a dig. But I have, do have to point out, <laughs> Bitcoin's blockchain has a virus. Uh, well, here it says, warning issued after malware is found to have hijacked Bitcoin blockchain. This is really a shame. This is really, really a shame. And I know uh, that, you know, things happen. But uh, the fact is that, uh, you know, just one more reason to double think why or rather ask yourself, why are you using Bitcoin? Well, you know, what's the real purpose? Is it just a store of value? Is it really useful? Yeah. OK, so let's let's find out what this malware actually does. So it says the Gliptiba malware first discovered in December 2018 rather is distributed through advertising designed to spread viruses through script and can steal an infected device's browsing history, website cookies, and account names and passwords with this particular variant uh, found to be targeting file sharing websites. Okay. Uh, and it goes on to say, I'll just go ahead and finish it up here. However, according to researchers, the new version of the malware can also mine the privacy specialized Monero cryptocurrency and threaten the security of Instagram users accounts. That is, uh, that's not good. Not good in any way, shape, form or fashion. Um, now, you know, is it like an imminent threat if you send or receive Bitcoin or uh, you know, if you're doing whatever it takes to uh, get here, I, I don't know. I don't know how, um, you know, how widespread it is. But like I said, I know me personally, I do not deal with Bitcoin at all. Um, and that's just me. Uh, I have nothing to say about someone who does and more power to you. But and, and you know, the, the thing about it is Bitcoin has it did go from three thousand dollars to all the way up to almost fourteen thousand dollars you know if we'd been in there if i had been in it i would have made a nice amount of money um but still i just don't feel that confident in it um will it go to a hundred thousand dollars remains to be seen uh do i really care well i hope it does honestly and i'm going to be completely honest i really hope bitcoin does go to a hundred thousand dollars i mean those who are invested in it, those who are just in love with it, uh, hey, that would be great for them. They can, um, you know, make plenty of money. Uh, the thing is, I would just hope they wouldn't begrudge us in the XRP community for XRP going to $1,000. So, uh, I, will that actually happen? Well, Bitcoin... Uh, maxis are definitely haters typically so um, I don't expect a whole lot from them but I don't have to be the way they are anyway guys that's all I have for you today hope everyone enjoyed and guys if you haven't already done so make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as smash that like button and hit that post notification button so you know when I post it again I really appreciate all of you guys. I would definitely appreciate um, anyone who wants to comment. Just be respectful. And until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.